Chapter 17 The Guild's Crew Here we are, Ekla. Wigglytuff's Guild. It feels as if we were gone a long time. But... Now that we're here, it's kind of awkward to go in. After all, we were so suddenly taken away in front of everyone. It'd be sort of strange to suddenly show up. No. We can't be acting all bashful now. We have to see everyone and tell them the truth. Okay. I'll stand above the sentry post. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to... The f f footprint belongs to... What's wrong, Diglett? Respond, respond! What? Hey, Diglett! Where do you think you're borrowing off to? That... that footprint... It's Omnis! What? 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 It is Omnis! And Ekla too! Diglett! A long time no see! Wah! What is that? Hey, hey, it's true! Oh my gosh, it really is Eckler and Omnis! You're both alive! We worried so much about you! Uh, uh, I was... My golly! Everyone, we're home. Welcome home. Omnis, Eckler. What? What was that again? Just, just hold on for a moment. Let me get the story straight. Okay. Ahem. Let me summarize your story so far. First, Grovile is actually a good Pokemon, and he was collecting the Time Gears to save the world. Yes. And the Great Dusk Noir only pretended to be kind and helpful. But he was actually a heinous and wicked villain? Yeah, though I didn't really phrase it as heinous and wicked. Also, Eckler was really Grovile's partner. Yes. So Dusk Noir wanted to get rid of both Eckler and Grovile? So he took them to the future? Yeah, and me too. Then you managed to escape from Dusk Noir by the skin of your teeth. And you barely made it back home from the future. Yes. And finally, this plant will soon become paralyzed, and to prevent that, Grovile has started gathering the time years again. Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. Is that your story in its full entirety? Yeah, that's all of it. <laughs> Omnis and Ekla. You must have had a bad dream or something. What? Why don't you two go to your room and get some rest? What? Wait a second! You think we're lying? What we just told you is true, all of it. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix that. That's not it, Chatter. Seriously, we're telling you the truth. That's quite enough. So tell me, is there any part of your story that's even remotely plausible? A place called the Hidden Land? I am the head of intelligence here, and I've heard of no such place. Besides, the Great Dusk Noir is far too kind to do anything like you've alleged. Well, yeah, I couldn't believe the truth about Dusk Noir either. It came as a huge shock, and it was really hard to accept. But... I'll hear no more of this. I don't care what you say, the Great Dusk Noir, the villain. That's simply unbelievable. Seriously, don't you feel the same way? How can anybody seriously think of the Great Dusk Noir as a villain? We hold Dusk Noir in the highest esteem. We cannot believe it. See? 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 Everyone shares the same opinion. But... Hmm? What is it, Sunflora? There is something I don't understand. That time, when the Great Dusk Noir was about to return to the future. It's too soon for farewells. You two are coming with me.
what Dusk Noir did then. It was strange any way you look at it. Really, do you think so? Don't you think that Omnis and Ekla fell into the dimensional hole by accident? No way! Dust Noir grabbed Omnis and Ekla and yanked them in! Hey, hey, that's right. It looked that way to me too. Hey, hey, what happened was really weird. Gosh, I really had to wonder why Dusk Noir did something like that. If, if what Omnis said is true, then what Dusk Noir did suddenly makes perfect sense. What? Wait a minute. So is that what you think now? Are you actually saying now that you believe what Omnis and Ekla are claiming? Well, what's your answer? Uh, I believe them. What? What did you say? So, Bidoof, you're claiming now that the Great Dusk Noir is a villain? Oof. Golly, I sure did think highly of the Great Dusk Noir. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way. But there's something more important here. Yup, yup. Ekla and Omnis are more important. That's why I believe what Ekla and Omnis have to say. What? 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 Bidoof. Hey, hey, I believe too. Me too. Oh my gosh. They're our guild colleagues after all. Oh, Corfish and Sunflora. I believe him. Me too. So do I. Casting doubt on our colleagues is wrong. Trust is a must. What? Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. For believing us. Well, hiya. Sounds like we all agree. Huh? We all believe our friends, that's great. Then let's begin searching for the Hidden Land. Whoa, just hold on there, Guildmaster. Hmm, what's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? We're all good with the story. But I suspect Chatot isn't convinced. Oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about Chatot. Huh? Chatot is convinced. Right? Huh? Because Chatot believed Omnis' story all along. Right, Chatot? <laughs> what? How peculiar. Well, Guildmaster, there's no fooling you. I admit it. Yes, I believed Ekla and Omnis right from the start. Huh? Really? But if I would have said that I believed them right away... Everyone would have gone along with what I said. What's all this? That's why I was so contrary. I wanted to put your friendship to the test. Gosh, likely story. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would surely believe their colleagues. Says you. He, he, he. Ekla, Omnis, I believe you. You're my good friends and guild membership. Now listen everyone, time is stopping in more and more places. From Omnis' story, we know our world is in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of Wigglytuff's guild, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do this everyone. Hooray! Chatot? Yes sir. Okay everyone. From now on, we're shifting all our efforts to locating the Hidden Land. We'll also have to let everyone know what is happening in our world. It's going to get busy. We all have to work hard. I sure will. I'll put it down to Treasure Town. I'll get the word out, by golly. I'll go too. We have to let Azelf and his friends know too. If they're back at their lakes, they may try to stop Grovile. Hey, hey, then I'll go tell them. Okay, everyone else, search for the Hidden Land, please. Yeah! Bidoof, Sunflora, and others, once your errands are done, gather information on the Hidden Land. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the Hidden Land together. Yung ta Hooray! Alright, let's show some guts! Hey, hey, hey! I'm sorry I don't have any information on the Hidden Land. But maybe the wise Torkoal, the town elder, may know something. Torkoal, the town elder? 
That would be the wisest and oldest Pokemon of Treasure Town. He loves the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive that you'll find him at the hot spring. Oh, I remember. My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way. What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea, we'll do that. Thanks, everyone. It's him! That nice old Pokemon we met! You should put his years of wisdom to use. Go ask Torko for advice. The first time we went to the hot spring, we had to get there through Waterfall Cave, Ekla. Let's go! Onward to the hot spring! But first... It is getting late, and besides... You must be hungry! Huh? My stomach growled. Haha, <laughs> yours did too. You should have dinner. Then get a good night's sleep. We can all get to work tomorrow. Hey, Ekla's belly growled again. Haha, <laughs> did everyone hear that? What a laugh, Ekla. Letting your belly bark at Chimeko, eh? <laughs> Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. It's so good to be back and to see everybody again. I'm so happy. I'm grinning so much. It's been so long since we've been in this room. It feels as though I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone came to believe our story. It made me a little choked up. Let's go meet Torkoal tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back at it tomorrow, Ekla. Up and at him! It's morning! <sighs> Good morning, Ekla. Oh, we well and truly are back. Ahem. So, wrapping up. Everyone's aware of their duties today? By golly, yes. I'm all ready to go. Good. Those of you investigating the Hidden Land, and those of you spreading the word about the true state of affairs, I expect you to organize your teams accordingly and get going. Let's get right to it, everyone. Hooray! We must go to the hot spring and get information from wise old Torkoal. I think we had to go through Waterfall Cave to get to the hot spring. So let's make our way to the hot spring. Let's do that, but first we have so many things to attend to before we go. We have a lot of boxes, we have a lot of items, there's a lot of management for us to do, and we're gonna start things off by talking to Krogunk. Meh, <laughs> it's good that you two made it back from the future. It makes me happy. <laughs> what have you got for us, Krogunk? Let's have a look. A Ryolu tail. Ooh. Fight the boost, defense. Nice. Happy new card. Dustox bow. Crash claw. What's that for? Tyranitar. Wow. Glamial bow. Hail scarf. That's for Glalie. Guard hat. For Gloom. Magna Torque. I'm guessing that's for Magnemite. Yeah. So we have a, a Ryolu exclusive item. Nice. Now, it slightly boosts defense. I feel like that may not necessarily be worth the extra inventory slot, since we're really running up on inventory space right now, and we're carrying around three exclusive items, four when we have Starly in the party. That's four slots that could be used for other things, so I'll have to think about whether I really need that Ryolu tail. Let's talk to these two. The guild seems to be buzzing with activity. The Hidden Land? I don't think so. No, I've never heard of such a place. Well, we tried. I'm happy to see your team back, Ekla. I hope we can work together. All right, well, let's add back Ego. And Francis. Back to the team. Actually, you know what, while we're here, let's have a look at some of the Pokemon we've recruited recently that we never got to look at. So, I believe we recruited Aurum the Psyduck. 
who is level 9, Damp and Cloud 9, Scratch, Water Sport, Tail Whip, and Water Gun. So, pretty much the same as this one, I would assume. Yeah. Then there's... Ah, then there's Terra the Pterodactyl. Terra the Aerodactyl. Ooh, Bite, Scary Face, Roar, and Thunderfang. Level 15, Rock, Head, and Pressure. That's pretty good. I don't know if we ever looked at Shuckle. We recruited a Shuckle a long time ago. Level 16, Sturdy and Gluttony. Safeguard, Withdraw, Constrict and Encore. Then there's Dust Devil the Trap Inch. Then we added a Wormadam and a Carnivine. There are a lot of Pokemon on the team that we haven't even really looked at or used yet. But I'm really happy with how the team is at the moment. So we're going to uh, we're going to stick with it for now. Hey Bidoof. I've been telling everyone the truth, by golly. Folks find it a hard tale to swallow, but I'm winning them over with my honesty. I'm surely getting through to the folks, yup yup. I like Bidoof. I'm really happy to see Bidoof again. Oh, Eckler and Omnis. You're all right. Am I ever glad? We heard you disappeared into something called a dimensional hole. That made us very worried. But you're back, and you're all right. I'm so glad to see you. Welcome back, Omnis and Eckler. Good to see those two again. Let's check on our egg. I'm glad to see you back safe and sound. When you were gone, everyone was so concerned over you. Why, it seemed to sap the cheer all out of Treasure Town. But that's all over now. I'm so glad to see you come home safe. I'm looking after your egg. It's doing fabulously well. Huh? The egg. Is it... Could it be? Is it close to hatching? Could it... Will it... Huh? What? The egg... Hatched! A healthy Shellos. Look, see its smile? It's adorable. Oh, the Shellos wants to join your team. Yeah, absolutely. Let's add the Shellos to the team. We're going to call it Sunny because it hatched while we were away in the future where there was no sun and because it hatched from an egg and you can have eggs sunny side up. Even though it's a Shellos, I mean, it has no real bearing on what it is, but I like the name. Sunny went off to be a part of your Chameco Assembly roster. Nice. I really like Shellos, actually. I used it in my last playthrough of Platinum. An East Sea Gastrodon in the end. Pretty good Pokemon. Hey guys. They're saying Grovile is actually a good guy? Huh. How do they expect me to believe that now? The story is making the rounds in Treasure Town. It's hard to believe. But it's true that time hasn't gone back to normal where stolen time gears were put back into place. Worse yet, the zones where time has stopped are growing larger. There are things happening that don't make sense. That's why I don't think it's safe to deny the rumor. You know, the rumor about Grovile saying that our planet's paralyzed in the future. You're not kidding. I oh, man, I want to talk to everyone. I'm going to talk to everyone. Why not? Yo, you two are safe. And they say you came back from the future. That's amazing stuff, you two. Your gutsiness, I like it. I have faith in you. Never give up. I'm so happy to see you back safe, Team Dice. I'm not very good at figuring out complicated things. But you can always count on my support, Team Dice. I'm helping to get the word out about what really happened. The others are finding it hard to believe right away, but I'll do my best. All right, well, let's... Let's get our boxes out. Oh my goodness, you're safe. Oh, thank mercy. I was so worried about you. You're back without a scratch on you. This is wonderful. I, I shouldn't be sobbing. I should be strong like you. Okay, then. It has been a long time. <laughs> Good to see you too, Zati. Okay, let's get these boxes opened. Okay, that's that done. We got ourselves a bunch of new exclusive items. We got a Cherim card and Cherim Do. A Nine card for Nine Tails. A Grossal Claw, a Blasto card, a Magmore Claw. That's the third one of those we've had. A Cast Do and a Wartor Fang. So nothing useful for any members of our team, but we can still hold on to them and exchange them for something else if we need to. We also got a Zinc Band, which 
I have a feeling we lost a zinc band previously, so that's good. Let's see what's in the shop. Ah, welcome back. We were very worried about you. No one seemed to know where you went. It is good to see you home safe and to have you shop with us again. Okay. What have you got for us? A heal ribbon speeds up healing. Definitely don't need that. We'll take a grass gummy and a yellow gummy. Absolutely. Wait a second. I can do this in the shop, can't I? Just checking. Didn't really save much time, but I just wanted to see if I could do that. And I can. That's good. Ah, oh, welcome back, Echo and Omnis. Ah, we are happy to see you. We were very worried about you. And what do you have for us? Poison jab and recycle. Ooh. Repairs TMs designated as a used TM and restores them so they can be reused. Wow. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty fringe in that I don't think many Pokemon can learn it. And I don't think there's much immediate use for it, but it's a pretty cool move. Okay, other than that, I think we've got some TMs to teach, actually, so... It's been a while in the making, but we're finally going to teach Brick Break to Ekla. And we're going to replace Force Palm, because Brick Break is just an upgrade, really. Force Palm did well, but we got the Paralysis chance about three times in the entire time we had it, so we're going to learn Brick Break instead. Now... I had to think about this a lot, but I think I'm gonna use Thunderbolt on Omnis in place of Thunder Fang. And that's mainly because if we look at Omnis's stats, the special attack is still pretty good. The attack is boosted by the power band, so if we take the power band away, you know, it's really not that much different. And I think the extra power of Thunderbolt will make up for that, especially once we stick a special band on Omnis instead. So we're going to go with Thunderbolt instead of Thunder Fang. But first things first, I think we need to delink these. I heard something that gives me a short circuit. Grovile is really the good guy, and Dust Noir is the bad guy. The world's a funny place, you never know what to expect. Okay, so... Omnis... Can we delink these? Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're going to replace Tackle with Thunderbolt. Just so that we have two electric attacks. I think that'll be quite useful. Tackle is alright, but Thunderbolt is way better. And we're going to use Thunder Wave as well. Now, I was thinking about whether I needed Thunder Wave on Omnis, since Francis has Stun Spore. But we've been through so many sections of the game where it's just been Ekla and Omnis that I don't think we need to worry about it crossing over too much, because at important parts of the game, it's likely that we're only going to have Omnis, we're not going to have Francis. So we're going to replace Charge. And though I've really enjoyed the Charge and Thunderfang combo, now that we have both Thunderfang and Thunderbolt, I feel like we don't necessarily need Charge. Plus, I don't want to replace any of these attacking moves. So I think Thunder Wave is going to be a bit more useful overall. So that's that done. Hello, Team Dice. Thank you for your continuing assistance in capturing outlaws. Today, I would like you to search for and apprehend Ronzong. Uh, it's a B rank. We'll accept it. Why not? Maybe we can do that another time. And now it's gummy drink time. So we're going to start off with a grass gummy for Francis. Francis drank the pulpy grass gummy. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Francis' IQ went up significantly. Special defense rose by one. And we have two yellow gummies for Omnis. Omnis drank the yellow gummy tea. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. 
Ominous's IQ went up significantly. Learn the IQ skill, non-traitor. Special attack rose by one. I see you a true connoisseur. Hello, Slugma. I noticed the way you tasted your drink, getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. You're obviously a gourmet, and I would just love to join you in your adventures. What do you think? Will you let me join your team? Sure, why not? A new member, join the team! We're gonna call him Guy. For reasons I'm sure many people will be able to understand. Okay. Another yellow gummy for Omnis. Omnis drank the yellow gummy Olay. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. IQ went up significantly, special attack rose by one. Now, I believe we can also use vitamins. And we have a calcium here that we've been holding onto for a really long time. Since Omnis now has Thunderbolt, I'd like to give him that extra special attack boost, so we're gonna make a drink for Omnis using the calcium. Omnis drank the hot calcium drink. A savory fragrance and the unique bitterness come together to form a mature flavor. Omnis' special attack strengthened. Great. Well, that's fantastic. So I believe that is everything that we needed to do. That was a lot of stuff. I didn't actually expect all this preparation to take quite so long. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to head out to the waterfall cave in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.